Hvala Nina Vuković. Evo Nija Kuvić. And this is Literally Gone. So, we come from Bihać of Bosnia and Herzegovina and we go to Richard Park International Primary School of Bihać. My friend will tell you more about our project. So, the development of industrial and uh, nuclear activities are trying not only to surface water but also to ground water due to discharge of heavy metals. And it is spread through environment and reverse by migration. So, we are in this project we're using biosorption. It's proved as the most efficient way of removing heavy metals from the water due to its low cost, high efficiency, and high surface absorption. Aims of our project. First, to clean our river from heavy metals, of course. To find a useful way of using fruit waste. To find the cheapest way of cleaning water. To test biomass based on peel and compare their effectiveness for biosorption applications. And last but not least, to use not harmful substances for cleaning water. So in, in the introductory part, with this research we have proved that pomegranate, lemon, tangerine, orange and grapefruit biomass can be used as excellent by sorbent for the removal of lead from wastewater. And grapefruit is found to be the most efficient. Zero side effects and low cost are financially and environmentally the important features of this project. So in this project we reported part has lead, which is uh, what can be found in periodic table as element of atomic number 82. Uh, it's silverish gray metal, which is very dangerous for us because once it gets inside of us, it never gets out and it has some lead at our effects. So the initial symptoms of lead poisoning are reported in organs generated by blood. So it's one of the most frequent signs of anemia. Other symptoms are headaches, dizziness, abdominal cramps, loss of appetite. In children, there is a slowdown of mental development, learning difficulties, and slowing puberty. So, biosorption, what is it? It's a process of removing heavy metals from aqueous solutions by using biosorbents. In our case, they are, uh, they are fruit peels, which are dry, but it also can be fungi or bacteria or anything else. In our project, dry peels are used as biosorbents because they are able to collect heavy metals, heavy metals through their peels. And that is how they remove lead and other heavy metals from the water. Intense technological and industrial development are a trend. And they have led to major environmental pollution and therefore water. In sewage waters, we also have large amounts of heavy metals like I mentioned it before. But as such, they are toxic, underdeveloped, and they have the ability to buy accommodation in living organisms and they thrive in food chains. So, materials. So here are a few materials that we use for our project, and that is in instrument UVDIS spectrophotometer, technical scale, mechanical syrup, plastic jars, measuring vessels, pH indicator, filter paper, blue ribbon, glasses, microphytes, and other laboratory glassware. We use PV lead nitrate, we use arsenazo tree, hydrochloric acid, and distilled water. So our methods were actually to dry our fruit peels from lemon, orange, tangerine, pomegranate, and grapefruit for, for 25 days at 20 degrees. Next, when they were dry enough, we turned them into bias to turn them into powder. Later on, we measured one gram of all biosurfaces for our analyzers. We had to contaminate lead to concentration of 100 milligrams per liter. Next on, we mixed contaminated water and biosurfaces for 90 minutes. Uh, we filtrated biosorbents or contaminated, contaminated water because all the biosorbents inside absorb the heavy metal and once they're filtrated, the bi heavy metals are left inside and then we have clean water. Last, we mix one, meat, uh, one milliliter of filtered water with four milliliters arsenazo tree or reagent. We measure the uh, absorption of the acquired lead arsenazo tree complex on the UVV spectrophotometer and calculate the results. So as you can see, this graph is showing that the grapefruit was found to, to be the most efficient. Pomegranate was not as efficient as grapefruit, but considering the fact that we are from Bosnia and Herzegovina means that in Herzegovina we have large amounts of pomegranate trees and people make a lot of juices out of them. So they lead to peels that we are able, and then we are able to use it for this project. The third the best bisorbent was lemon and there was a slight difference between orange and tangerine. So, uh, to calculate this, we needed this amazing formula, which is sorption efficiency is equal to concentrations of heavy metals after analysis over concentrations of heavy metals before analysis, multiplied by 100. Future plans. 
One of our future plans is, instead of cleaning the water from lead, we would like to clean it from uranium, so, uh, because it's definitely a lot worse than lead. And of course, we would like to test some more um, bisorbents and other foods so we can see how do they work. This graph shows the steps of our project in industry. So the first step is preparing bisorbents from dry the crust. Afterwards, the efficient interference of bisorbents with contaminated water tanks, and then the removal of bisorbents from contaminated water filters and getting a cleansing water. Thank you for your attention.